Thank you, thank you very much. Uh, uh, it's such a pleasure to um, uh, see you all um, uh, via uh, Zoom. I've uh, reached out to quite a few of you during this extremely tumultuous year, and I would uh, very much like to thank you again for uh, making time um, uh, to help us uh, make the transition uh, from a country that as you point out uh, in your memo, Stelio is not a meaningful participant in the global biotechnology sector, uh, nor a leader uh, in basic research in biomedicine, to one that actually can uh, and hopefully will play a leading role uh, in these fields. Um, when uh, COVID first struck uh, and we started doing some um, uh, research to realize, um, uh, to identify people who could actually help us uh, manage this uh, unique healthcare crisis. I was stunned by how many people, Greeks, people of Greek origin, people who have some sort of relation to Greek, to Greece, uh, um, we were able to identify uh, and uh, and reach out. So, uh, in in this sort of global war for um, uh, for talent, I think we we have. Uh, um, uh, today with us, uh, a, a fantastic group of, uh, of extremely um, uh, successful people uh, in the biotech industry, uh, some of whom have played a, you know, a leading role uh, in the fight against uh, COVID, uh, Nubar, um, uh, Albert, um, um, George, uh, you know, made us really, really proud um, um, for the work that you, uh, that you have done. Uh, but as you pointed out, Stegos, the real challenge is how do we move from where we are today, where we essentially have a, you know, a vibrant domestic pharmaceutical industry, but that is not really cutting edge uh, in terms of, uh, in terms of R&D, um, uh, to um, uh, uh, an industry that is uh, innovation based and that can play a leading role uh, in the emerging um, uh, biopharma sector. So this is essentially the challenge. Uh, and of course, we are uh, far from, uh, from experts in this. So what I'd be looking for, uh, as uh, Stegos pointed out, uh, is a specific roadmap with actionable recommendations in terms of what we, what we can do to leverage our comparative advantages uh, and uh, make um, innovation-based biopharma a, a critical sector uh, for the growth of the country. We certainly have the willingness and the intention uh, to go down that path. Uh, and I think we're pretty good uh, at uh, driving through the necessary reforms once we have uh, identified them. We have already, um, I, I think, done a significant body of work in spite of the pandemic in making Greece uh, more attractive for foreign investment. Uh, let me just you know, highlight um, uh, a, a few of the policies that we've put in place. As far as the domestic pharma industry is concerned, um, we found a way uh, of, um, uh, of reducing the clawback uh, and, uh, in exchange for new investment that the industry is going to make in, uh, in Greece. We've made the tax treatment of R&D expenditure that much more attractive. We are beginning um, to cut um, um, taxes on labor. Uh, which I know is particularly uh, important for, for those of you who actually have established uh, a presence in Greece. Um, we are giving um, significant incentives for people who have left the country to return to Greece, Greeks, expats, or even foreigners who want to set up um, their business uh, in Greece. So one of our main goals is to bring back talent that left during the years of the crisis to Greece if COVID proved one thing. I think it is that you can work from anywhere and why not work from a country that is beautiful, safe, um, um, uh, well connected, um, uh, and that gives uh, the right sort of framework of, of incentives to create uh, an ecosystem uh, in the innovation-based biopharma uh, sector. Let me just conclude by saying that I'm, I'm really confident about the long-term prospects uh, of the country. I think we've dealt with COVID much better than most countries. We've had our difficulties in, in the second wave, but the case has come down um, substantially. We are, as you probably know, still in, in a lockdown and we will probably stay in, in a lockdown until the beginning of, uh, uh, of January. We have a very detailed vaccination plan. Uh, we have laid the foundations. Um, uh, for uh, a growth model that is not necessarily based uh, on the traditional comparative advantages you always associated with Greece, for example, tourism. We've done a lot to attract high-tech companies in Greece, um, um, uh, and you're probably aware of some emblematic investments that have been announced. 
uh, and innovation-based biopharma would be another sector where we haven't done much, but it's certainly uh, you know, a personal focus um, uh, for me, uh, and I will do you know, whatever it takes to make sure that we uh, can grow this sector. And it would, be, it would really be a pity, given the talent that we, that we have of people who care about Greece uh, in one capacity or another, it would be a real, uh, a real pity not to, not to leverage that. So uh, I'll stop here, um, uh, Stelio, and I'll let you coordinate uh, the meeting going forward. Again, the, the idea would be to have this as a high-level you know, steering group. We could meet via Zoom. Uh, uh, once every you know, three months, and then, of, of course, you all have an invitation to come to Greece during the summer. Hopefully, by that time, it will be much easier uh, to travel. And then we will make sure that uh, you know, our team working with Stelios, we can come up with uh, you know, a, a piece of work that focuses on, on the detail of what needs to, uh, needs to happen with uh, actionable uh, recommendations. Again, thank you uh, all very much for participating in, uh, in today's video conference. I really, really appreciate it.